Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today marks one year since the fatal shooting of Vermilion Parish Deputy Alan Barres Jr. Barres was shot and killed while trying to stop a burglary on his day off. And tonight he's being remembered by friends, family and colleagues in law enforcement with a prayer service that's happening right now at St. Teresa Catholic Church in Abbeville. Tonight, Carrie Beal reports on how Barres' death has changed the sheriff's office. The incident with Allen has really brought the Vermeen Parish Sheriff's Office closer as a family. All of us realize when we get up in the morning, we might not return home that night. It was one year ago Barrez was here along South Hospital Drive in Abbeville mowing a lawn. He was off duty and shot after calling into 911 reporting two men who were acting suspiciously. I uh, wasn't sure exactly what his condition was. It wasn't until later that evening that Sheriff Cuvion found out his fellow deputy was dead. Allen could have been the chaplain at the sheriff's office. He promoted God, he promoted family. He's just a first class individual. One year later, his family asked for privacy on the anniversary of his death. Cuvion says Barres loved his wife and two children more than anything and treasured every moment here on earth. The incident with Allen has opened everybody's eyes how we're here at God's will and we could be gone. So make every minute, every second of your life the best you can. In Vermilion Parish, Carrie Beal, KTC TV3. Meantime, the two men arrested in the case are still awaiting trial. Quintilan Richard and Balin Taylor are both charged with first-degree murder, along with three other felony charges. Both have pled not guilty. And